Uh, thanks, Mr. Pavel. Uh, thank you for delivering the uh, inspirational speech, uh, as always. Um, and best of luck with your election. Uh, uh, Mr. Drew Pablo Solushi, speak up low the Australian government to speak up low people, I to go on here, uh, 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 Suja Eden. Help Mr. Suja Eden go Sakapia we put a pick of Aisha. Hello, I'm in Lava. Tomorrow, England will be with speech of your world. No, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Respected elders, fellow comrades, beloved. An admirable Generation Z. Any Generation Z here? Can you see your hands, please? Admirable Generation Z, thank you very much for starting this revolution. It is your revolution that we have partaking. And Generation Z. And there are some mad dogs running around. And to all of you, I extend my traditional greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Despite Despite our differences in religions, race, and ethnicity, we are all here for one purpose. We are all here to oppose and reject the military mad dog rules. I want to explain to you what is mad dog in a minute. Mad dog rules. Are we here for that? Can I hear your voice, please? Yes. We are, are we here to oppose mad dog's rule from our great nation? Yes. yes. I would like to hear that. And yes, we all understand that all of us must be united to overthrow this mad dog's government. Are we not? Yes. yes? yes. We all must be united. And we all must reject any claims the military government does. Before I go further, let me introduce myself properly. Because it is important for you to know who I am, so that you understand my talk today in my pers under my perspective, right? It's because to, it is important if we are pursuing unity, it is important for us to know and clearly understand the feelings and sentiments of everyone related in Myanmar. All the three cities must be understand their freedom, their wages, and their rights. Because what we have witnessed in, 19, in 2010, pseudo-democracy, in pseudo-democracy, we witness good for one nation only, without, with, re disregarded 135 other nations, except Burmese people. Burmese supremacy was in height in that era of a decade, in pseudo-democracy. Pseudo for that, I say, you must understand and listen to everyone's sentiment in order to achieve unity. Are you good with me? Yes. Yes. And I tell you, my name is Sujauddin, son of Karimuddin, son of Abdul Halim, son of Abdul Rahim, son of Abdul Munaf. The reason I tell you all these names, these are my forefathers and their forefathers, and their forefathers all lived in Arakan, the land of Rohan, people of Rohingya. I am, I am son of Rohingya. And that's why please address me as a Rohingya. Not Kala, how disgraceful of you to call me Kala. Who I am, I am Rohingya. The great nation of Rohan people, son of the great nation, don't call me Kala. That will be an obstacle in our unity. Do you agree? Yes. Kala is a degrade term. Nobody wants to hear. I don't want to hear. I feel offended when you hear that. Do you agree? Yes. It's an offensive term. And I tell you what. 
You know, for the we all heard just now our Chin brothers has expressed, our Karen brother just now had expressed the atrocities that they have gone through. And you all must agree, will agree. Everybody in the land of Myanmar, Burma, suffered under this mad dog rules. Are we not agree? Yes? yes? We also suffered. We also suffered hypocrisy in the name of democracy. We suffered racism. We suffered racism greatly. Everybody must have suffered except the Burmese community. Some of you also have suffered in different ways. We suffered racism in the name of nationalism. Amyoda ye wada. Amyoda ye wada jau tonoro kuita sasa kangeyare. And we also suffered greatly. You must understand, we have greatly suffered brutality of this mad dog in the name of what? In the name of national security. All of our brothers and sisters were killed or tortured in the name of national security of these mad dogs. I'll explain to you where the mad dogs come from. If you examine what is mad dogs, mad dogs have some quali special qualities. These qualities are unique in our Burmese politicians. Mad dogs bites and hurts everyone around them, including their family members and their masters. And this is what mad dogs are doing. Who are ruling now? Mad dogs are ruling our country now. Biting everyone around, hurting everyone around, even their own people, their own families. The other quality the mad dogs has, the disease, the mad dog disease is contagious. This mad dog disease is infectious. In this, we have seen in mad dog disease being, you know, contracted by others in whoever with them. Our great leaders of NLD was complicit, was complicit, I repeat, NLD was greatly complicit in the crime of genocide. Shame on them. Shame on them. You must acknowledge it. The reason I'm saying this, not to offend everybody, I'm saying my sentiment. So that we achieve unity. Understand my purpose. Shame. You must accept us as one of you equal. Just now the to be senator, forgo your surname, sir. You spoke very well. Everybody is equal and you must treat everyone equal. Just because of my religion is different, will you treat me differently? Would you treat me differently because of my different religion? No. 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 Can I hear that, please? No. From you. Can I hear that commitment from you? I'm here. I'm, I came here to commit with all of you to fight against injustice anywhere in Burma for everybody. Are you with me to fight for injustice? If you don't come together for injustice happening for everyone or anyone, if we neglect, if I think Martin Luther King has said this, injustice somewhere is injustice everywhere, right? For that reason, I'm here to encourage my brothers and sisters. Before I finish my talk, I wanted to say this. I salute the Generation Z who bring this sentiment and even though they have, they have nothing to do with the crime of genocide against Rohingya, they are the first one starting to apologize on behalf of the nation. We accept your apology. Rohingyas carries a big heart. They are bearers of big heart. They are willing to forget if, conditional, if you admit, what I mean you is a na as a nation, admit the crime that's committed against Rohingya. If you say it will never happen again and you are part of this great nation, as I am the part of this great nation, then we are willing to forgive. 
We are willing to work with you. We are willing to fight and die with you. And our people are doing that. A great a Rohingya armed group fighting in the spirit of PDF to bring democracy, to bring down the military rule. And that's why, lastly, I would like to say this. We will, if we want to achieve national reconciliation, you must speak clearly with, you have to clear all misconceptions, all the brainwashing that has happened across with military junta. And we must open our hearts to embrace all of us, despite our differences of religion, ethnicity and race, to embrace together, to build a nation of peace and prosperity. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, delivering the uh, speech.